My name is Liam Young and I am a filmmaker and speculative architect and world builder. Originally I'm from Australia but now I live here in Los Angeles. I don't design buildings as physical objects but rather I make films and I tell stories about the ways that spaces, buildings and cities are changing in the future. And I think in many ways it's, it's really critical that if we value what we do as architects and urbanists that we think about forms through which we can disseminate those ideas as widely as possible. So a speculative architect uses the mediums of film or fiction or storytelling in order to communicate ideas about how technology is changing and shaping our world. In a way, the world that we currently occupy is sometimes best understood through fiction. We're, we're in a present moment where fiction is perhaps the best way for us to come to terms with uh, a world that reality struggles to grasp. In many ways, fiction has always been an extraordinary shared language. You know, we've always, since we can sit up, stared at the TV, watching films or TV shows, we've fallen asleep in the pages of a novel and it's really the way that our culture shares and disseminates ideas. So I think in our work, what we do is co-opt the mediums of fiction. We embed like Trojan horses in the mediums of popular culture, important ideas about the futures that we're all gonna be living in together. And I think that if we can be clever about using fiction as, and film as a new kind of site, then we can design and prototype a whole range of possibilities about what the future might be and put them into the world with enough force that they might find traction or that at least they might connect with audiences so that we can have a shared conversation around the futures that we all want to be living in together. Planet City is a city for 10 billion people and in many ways we're already occupying Planet City. We all live in an urban context that is really distributed across the entirety of the earth. There is no point on the planet anymore that is not touched somehow by our urban environments. Either they produce the city or they're produced by the city. So what Planet City is trying to do is, is bring that into focus in a way by creating a single city that the entire population of the Earth will soon live in. And this city is imagined based on the density of the current density city in the world, that of Manila. And at that density, if we were to all live, you know, 7 billion people or the projected 10 billion people that we're all going to be by 2050 in one city, then that city is actually the footprint of just a single state of the US meaning the entirety of the rest of the planet could be left to recover, to heal, to return to some kind of idea of a wild state.
Planet City is a project that uh, apparently I, I stand as some kind of author of, but really it's a, a work that emerges from a massive atomized brain distributed across the planet. It comes together from conversations that, that we've had with an amazing array of writers and theorists and scientists, and it's a really a collective project. And I think that scale of investment in this fiction is something that uh, we've never attempted before. And in many ways, you know, it's sitting within the context of Hollywood, like behind us is Los Angeles, um, a place that normally churns out these visions of science fiction futures on a daily basis. But rather than a single production designer or the vision of a director or a concept artist, we're really trying to build this world from uh, very realistic, very pragmatic technologies. So that, although absurd, the proposal actually demonstrates very meaningful relationships to some of the technologies that are going to be necessary when we have to deal head on with, with a changing climate. And the, the ways that we're prototyping the necessary lifestyle and cultural changes that are going to be needed in the city hopefully have resonance because they're not just pure fantasy, but rather they're grounded speculations. Planet City, although it may appear absurd and extreme, is actually built from an exceptionally rigorous and extreme pragmatism. And really, the, what I hope one of the roles of the city is, is, is not to present a proposal, but rather it's a provocation to get us to see actually just how extreme and absurd the current ways that we make cities really is. So in many ways, it's, it, yes, it's about Planet City is about a future, but at the same time, it's a mirror through which we can see the absurdity and the catastrophic nature of business as usual.
in many ways, the future is a verb, not a noun. It's something that we all play a role in actively shaping and defining. I'm excited by the potential to, to release a work like Planet City because it's not an end point, but rather it's the beginnings of a collective conversation.